learning never exhausts the mind. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves their conduct will pursue their principles unto death. Art is never finished, only abandoned. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. There are three classes of people, those who see, those who see when they are shown, those who do not see. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well, a spent brings happy death. Nature is the source of all true knowledge. She has her own logic, her own laws. She has no effect without cause, nor invention without necessity. Ehavi been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Poor is the pupil who does not surpass his master. Iron rusts from disuse, water loses its purity from stagnation. Even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? While I thought that I was learning how to live, lab and learning how to die, where there is shouting, there is no true knowledge. The beginnings and the ends of shadow lie between the light and darkness and may be infinitely diminished and infinitely increased. Shadow is the means by which bodies display their form. The forms of bodies could not be understood in detail but for shadow. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in the hope of pulling out an eel. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. Water is the driving force of all nature. Our life is made by the death of others. Who sows virtue reaps honor. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. Men of lofty genius sometimes accomplish the most when they work least, for their minds are occupied with their ideas and the perfection of their conceptions to which they afterwards give form. Time stays long enough for anyone who will use it. Time stays long enough for anyone who will use it. Intellectual passion drives out sensuality. Human subtlety will never devise an invention more beautiful, more simple or more direct than does nature because in her inventions nothing is lacking and nothing is superfluous. Every action needs to be prompted by a motive. Painting is concerned with all the ten attributes of sight, which are darkness, light, solidity and color, form and position, distance and propinquity, motion and rest.